Hello, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV here to bring you another ASP Classic troubleshooting lesson. Today we're going to look at the either BOF or EOF 800-AOBCD error. This error usually happens when you try to display a record that does not exist in your database. This lesson is to show how to display a friendly message instead of the ASP error message to your visitors when they click on a link to an unavailable record. In this case, we are going to be working in our admin page for a site that I am designing for a client. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see by our error, it's, uh, the error is happening in our links.asp page, which is inside of our admin folder. And the error is on line 32. So now let's go and take a look at our line 32 inside of our links.asp page. And here we have our variable that we created for our record set for our link ID column within our database called link ID. Now the record set RSUP links is letting us know that this is where our error is happening at. So what we need to do is we need to create an if then statement that would give an error message, a friendly error message that is, to our admin user or visitor depending on where you're going to put this message at to let them know that there was an error and to To proceed, sorry, I got a little tongue tied there, to the next step in case there is an error. And if there's not an error, then we can want to display our, in this case, this is our update form, so we want to display our form to our admin user. So let's go ahead and create our if then statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to create if RSUP links in the file then. Now what this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, if this is the end of file or the end of the records within the database, then that's when we want to display our message. So response dot write the link with ID link ID does not exist in this database. Create our break to view all the links available click here so what we want to do is we want to create a link to our admin equals links and link equals view I always like to give my links a title. And we're going to say view all the links in the database. And then we close our link. Okay, then we create an else. So what we're going to do is that if there is no record, then we're going to show the link with ID, in this case it's 1, the link with ID 1 does not exist in this database. To view all the links available, and this is our link that we want to allow our user to click on, view all the links in the database, click here. So it does not exist, uh, well, to view all the links available, click here. Else, we want to display our form, since this is our update form, we want to display our form with our records in it. And then at the very end, we create our end of our if then statement. And then refreshing our page will give us this error, this friendly error message. The file with ID 1 does not exist in this database. To view all the links available, you click here. So once again, we want to make sure that we create an if-then statement. And this is what an if-then statement is. It starts with if and then ends with then, of course. If record set up links dot in a file, then we create our friendly little message. Else we display the form as it's supposed to be shown. Once again, this is Wayne Barron from Darkfix TV with another ASP Classic lesson on how to troubleshoot error messages. And uh, do not forget to subscribe. I am in the process of getting ready to start creating a bunch of tutorials on how to design an ASP database-driven website. But I will only 
release these videos to YouTube if I can get some subscribers. Because this stuff takes a lot of time to create them and I would hate to create all of these videos and upload them when I do, do not have people that actually want to enjoy viewing these lessons and learning from them. So, once again, Wayne Barron, y'all have a rocking weekend and an awesome 4th of July. And be safe. Thank you.